We are at HCC 10 and we have one male. Copy, Eric. If you would hold on for a few minutes, then I will let you guys know when we have an available female, and then I'll send you back to the office. 10 4. We've translocated seven red cockaded woodpeckers from Fort Benning, which is a stable. Uh, increasing population of red cockaded woodpeckers. And we've moved seven sub-adult woodpeckers from there to Enon Plantation here last night, and we released them this morning. And the reason why we're doing that is because there was a remnant, or there is a remnant population of red cockaded woodpeckers here on this plantation, so we've doubled the population overnight. The population that was here, the remnant, was so small, it was critically endangered, that's what we like to say. It's critically endangered so that it could not persist on its own without some pretty significant intervention. This plantation, uh, Eden Plantation, is owned by Cam Lanier, and Cam Lanier was our very first safe harbor enrollee in the state of Alabama. Um, he signed on this, this year in March of 2007 to the safe harbor program and he did that because what he was doing on his land primarily managing for for northern bobwhite quail was conducive to red cockaded woodpecker habitat management as well there's only one other population of red cockaded woodpeckers known in the state of alabama on private land and so this is one of two in the whole state of alabama so we knew we had something pretty unique here and we wanted to rescue or, or recover save this population from extinction, it was it was on its way out. It was actually dwindling in numbers, um, and it was gonna it was gonna be extirpated before many more years passed. A lot of people came together to assist with this program. Although Mr. Lanier had a consulting wildlife biologist that's been working here, putting in all the artificial inserts, the cooperative effort has involved the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, the State Lands Division, Department of Conservation, uh, Division of Wildlife Freshwater Fisheries, Department of Conservation. Fort Benning, Georgia. Each bird was placed individually in its own cavity, um, and a screen of hardware cloth was placed over the cavity to prevent the bird from coming out in the dark, because in the, in the dark, the birds won't, um, won't be able to find a cavity. They'll just kind of sleep out on a limb. They can't really fly well in the dark. So we put them in there and secured them for the night. Uh, the next morning, right before daylight, we went out and as the birds woke up and began pecking on that screen, we pulled the string and pulled the screen off, releasing the birds um, into their new, new environment. It's not necessary that any landowner um, enroll their property in Safe Harbor with the idea that they're going to have to receive woodpeckers on their land. That's, that's very far from the truth. Mr. Lanier has gone over and above, uh, a long way over and above any requirements of the Safe Harbor program. Mr. Lanier has set the high water mark with private landowners and hopefully set a great example for other landowners that have small and large properties to better manage their lands through good, good management practices such as prescribed burning and, uh, and good sound timber management practices. This is really an historic event here in Alabama. This is the first time that red cockaded woodpeckers have been um, translocated to private land in Alabama. And so we are just on the very beginnings of our, our road to recovery here on private lands in Alabama.